And uh, now uh, we give a word to the Mr. Felix David, uh, is uh, our honorable <coughs> expert of the European franchise industry. As you see, Albert Kong from Singapore, Felix is uh, now in charge with the whole industry in Europe. And uh, uh, also we're very good friends. And uh, Felix, I can see you. Nice to see you. Please uh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Nice to see you, uh, Fasil. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, let me start my presentation. Uh, one moment. It's not working. Share screen. Yes. Can you see it right now? Yes, exactly. Okay. We can see it well. Thank you. Okay, now the right time for your franchise to expand to Europe is uh, right now. Let me introduce uh, myself. Um, I have a problem, I think, one moment. Oh, I can go back, so, sorry. I'm Felix de Witt from the Netherlands. I started my career as an officer in the Royal Dutch Army. After it, I was a real estate agent, but this was a too small business for myself. I wanted to join something very big. That's the reason I uh, invested in a master franchise for an international real estate company, uh, the world real estate leader. It's named Remax. I joined them in 1998 till 2009. After that, I sold my company and I started uh, because I loved the franchise industry I started in a franchise development consultancy and sales company, and I have now more than 20 years uh, franchise uh, experience. This is the company I started in the real estate, was Remax. Why did I start with this company? Because I wanted to change the real estate industry. The real estate industry in Europe was totally uh, different. Uh, and uh, the benefit of uh, Remax, they were working with independent contractors and that was a huge success to bring them to Europe. I want the opportunity to build something for myself, but not by myself. And I'm a winner and I always like to join the best. That's the reason I joined this company. In uh, less than 10 years, 1998 till 2009, we sold uh, more than 100 franchises. We had a big real estate crisis uh, that, as you all know, in 2008 and 2009. And that's the reason I lost some of my franchises. After it, I started my own career skills of uh, management and consultancy, and I always share my experience in being a master franchisee. I made mistakes and I always share my mistakes. And the biggest mistake was that my focus was too big. And I always tell my customers to build a big business, you need a small focus. We are supporting international franchisors to develop their franchise into the European continent. And we have a big crisis at the moment because of the pandemic. And I always say a good franchise organizations work exactly like the virus, but in a positive sense. Someone gets infected with it, then infects the other, and if everyone does their job well, transmission goes very fast, and the franchise becomes a treat to the competition. And this is actually what a franchise company wants. They want to beat the competition. The situation because of COVID at the moment, we have a total lockdown in most of the European countries. Most companies are closed. My government last night at eight o'clock, they announced that at the end of this month, the 28th of April, we're going to change a little bit. We're going to lose the curfew. We had an evening clock for more than three months. They are going to open the high schools. They are opening the shops. Only the restaurants and the bars stay closed. They only open the terraces only in the afternoon. And that's actually not so nice because most people are working from 12 till six. But that seems that there is going to be a little bit, going to be a little bit better. We see that our government is doing an incredible job to uh, contribute to wage costs. They help business owners, they help entrepreneurs and we see of course of COVID-19 I think it's all of the countries all over the world we see that the unemployment is uh, rising at the moment the franchise industry in Europe 
uh, has one of the most developed franchise industry of the world. Uh, many franchisors expand their brands across Europe by recruiting masters. And many franchisors are so smart that they are not making the mistake that I make to want to do everything by yourself, but they are using the services of Europe-based franchise consulting companies. Before COVID-19, we had an every year an exponential growth. And only in my country, the Netherlands in 2019, we had uh, around 950 franchise brands. The franchise is around 5% of the GDP. And since COVID in 2020, we have an economic downturn. But I'm totally uh, confident that the industry will change very fast. We are working hard now on the vaccinations. And I see people are doing much better. Companies are doing much better. And even startups are doing much better. The development that I see in the franchise in 2021, the market for new franchise development around Europe will remain robust and strong. We will have excellent reasons to start a business during a down economy. Existing companies will franchise their business. They are a business and they figured out that this crisis dropped them down. And we can prove them that after a crisis, a franchise always will grow, will grow even faster as they did before. Yes, it's a great time for many entrepreneurs dream and smart investors will always make money, not excuses. The reasons uh, to start a business during a doubt economy, raw materials and goods are much cheaper than usually. The number of competitors is going down. People are always looking to save money. That's not only in my country, that's all over the world. You can save a bundle on interest. The money is very, very cheap here in Europe and people are always looking for innovations. Why will companies uh, franchise their business? Because they get lower cost. The management, when you work with independent uh, contractors, with franchisees, uh, you have uh, a simpler management than people having on your payroll. You have less concerns. You have a faster expansion. Your market penetration should be much better because you have, when you own a master franchisee, you have your franchisees that owns a unit and they help you to expand your brand all over Europe. It's a greater commitment and less recruitment. Recruitment is the toughest part and international potential. That's one of the huge benefits that we see now inside the franchise industry. What do you have to do to expand your franchise globally or to Europe? Stay focused on your active business and work together with franchise consultancies that know the industry. Don't make mistakes. Get knowledge about master franchising. When you want to know more about master franchising, I know Fasil can help you with that and you can contact me as well. Take care for the legalization of your franchise. Take care for good franchise agreements and franchise operations manual. The registration of your trademark in the World Intellectual Property Organization. When you invest a lot of money in your brand, take care that no one will steal your brand and your trademarks. Know how to sell franchises. I mentioned here Paris, we uh, spoke to Sylvie, the director of the Expo and the Franchise Expo in Paris. I join this show every year and I sold many franchises only because the visitors that joined the show. Screen your franchisees because you invest a lot of money. Don't make the mistake that you bring the wrong people on board. And therefore you need also a good franchise agreement. When you make the mistake, bringing the wrong person on board that you can find solutions for them. Support your franchisees. Your franchisees are your most important assets, especially in this time that we are in the crisis right now. Give them a good support and focus on your market share. Follow this uh, brands. I worked in 2021. I have some new customers. We just spoke to ATG.com. I helped them last year. To, uh, to develop their operations manual. These are brands that made the decision to enter the European market. And we are my company is working now for most of them 
to prepare all the legalization documentation and registration of the trademarks in Europe. Stay focused, the pandemic won't change the franchise industry. It will open closed doors for all of you as franchisors. Okay. Many franchisees will join. And as an existing franchisor, show leadership. I told you before, your franchisees are your most important assets. And especially they need your support at this moment. When you have questions, here are my contact details. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the right time for your franchise to expand to Europe is exactly right now. Thank you very much for your attendance. Felix, thank you. Thank you for the good uh, presentation. So could you please uh, say a few words about the Netherlands? What's happening now? How is the feeling the franchise industry in uh, uh, Northern and, uh, for, uh, and, and Western Europe? No, the franchise industry is doing well. That's not an issue. But we have, when you have to realize when all the restaurants are closed uh, since six months, the franchise industries in the food sector, they have found solutions. And I see many good things going on. They have uh, takeaways that is very new in their concept. And of course, yes, they lost money. They did not show good results like they did before the crisis. Hey, but do you know what's the benefit? After the rain, the sun will shine again. And that's what I see. The, the, we are good on our way with vaccinations. We will open the restaurants, I think, uh, during the summertime. And that's the benefit of a franchise. You have an international frame and an international network and experience. You can share your ideas with people outside your country. That's the benefit why I joined Remax as well. I learned a lot from people in the USA. I learned from Italy, from Spain, from every country. And that's the reason I'm a strong believer about master franchising. I see. I see. Thank you very much. So <laughs> I'm really happy that you are uh, looking so healthy and so passionate. It's really good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. You. Uh, <laughs> uh, what would you advise to the people who is uh, watching us? <clears throat> for the uh, make decision of what they want to buy the franchise. The most of our audience today is the people who is uh, going to make a right choice. What is the main advice that you can give them? Do some good research about the franchise. Uh, do some good research uh, about their agreement, that they have a good agreement. Most franchise agreements are only one-sided. Do a very good research on it and take care that uh, they give you all the documents that you need to make a smart decision. And I know for myself, I invest a lot of money to join a franchise and the, and the benefit is it brought me more than I invested in it. And this should be a franchise company. Okay, thank you very much, Felix. <coughs> Stay healthy. <coughs> we go ahead. Thank you <laughs> yeah, very let's, much. Let's uh, develop the franchise industry in Europe. <laughs>